thanks very much. Let's go back now here to Times Square. The mayor of New York City has gathered uh, with Shoshona Johnson. They are both going to press a button, which will drop the ball. There you see Cindy Lauper, a number of military personnel, representatives from the Army, Marine, and the Airmen here as well. Let's listen in. And I had to start again, just my children and my Shoshona Johnson, you are looking at with Mayor Michael Bloomberg of New York. Shoshona Johnson, after 22 days in captivity. Thirty seconds away now. When the ball drops, all the lights will go on, the fireworks and confetti, and it will be a party like no other.
It's quite a sight. It really is. You know, there's really nothing like being there in the square. We bring it to you every year for the last 32 years here on ABC, and we get a nice, fat audience, but there's nothing like the experience of being in Mario. Hey, hey. Looking good in 2004. It's quite a display. Tons and tons of confetti happening here over Disneyland. It is magnificent behind the castle. Fireworks going. Happy New Year, everybody all over the world. And tons of confetti are falling. Looks, looks like a, a colorful snowstorm is at Times Square. Well, this New Year's celebration in Times Square has been a tradition for over 100 years. First time was in 1904. That's when Mayor Oaks threw uh, an all-day street party, ending with fireworks display at the bottom of the tower. And before that, uh, the crowds used to gather at the City Hall Park. But by New Year's 1907, Mayor Oaks arranged to have a large 400-pound illuminated glass ball electrified lowered from the tower at midnight, and that tradition has continued to this day. It is the one thing that the world looks to. You can have a, a, a you know, New Year's celebration anywhere, but they ain't nothing like New York, nothing like what's going on at Disneyland. Oh, look at that. Disneyland Resort in Anaheim, California. Happy New Year, folks. Forget Donna Summers coming right up with a classic, a classic version of Last Dance, and it's gonna, it's gonna touch. It is the perfect New Year's Eve song. And look at them celebrating in Times Square, all the way up past 52nd Street. Gotta be close to a million people. Certainly more than three quarters of a million. Mainly due to the wonderful weather we're experiencing. Time being had by all. Times Square in New York City is a magnificent place to be. The camaraderie, the good spirit, and once again, thanks to the New York Police Department for putting it all together. Mickey and Minnie having their little party celebration. Happy times, kids. Look at that electrical display. Behind. Yeah, that's the California crowd. That's the New York crowd. And they're all celebrating together. Happy New Year's Rockin' Eve on ABC. And there's a ton of music still coming up. We've got Jason Mraz, Three Doors Down, Little John, Yin Yang Twins, Rascal Flats, Jagged Edge, Bow Wow, Donna Summer, and Hall and & Oates. We're gonna be partying until the wee hours of the morning here on New Year's Rockin' Eve. So we invite you to call a friend, tell them to tune. We got a lot more good stuff still to go. And by all means, stay with us on New Year's Rockin' Eve. Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve 2004 on ABC is brought to you by Prescription Vioxx. Ask your doctor about Vioxx.